Two blocks slide towards each other along a frictionless table and they collide. Boom. Move apart. Then, you have all this information and they ask us to find the mass of block X. Did they give us any information for mass? I don't think they did. No, they didn't. But they did give us kinetic energy, so I, I guess I'll start with that. So we stay calm and we just write what we know. Ke is half mv squared. And then I sub in what I know. 0 0.3 is half... Oh no. I don't know what's m. I don't know what's v. How? But it did give momentum. A lot of momentum. Momentum is mass times velocity. So maybe there's some clue there. Not very sure. If you're not sure, just plug in values. Maybe we'll go somewhere. So let's see the momentum for block X initial. So that will be right up here. 0 0.37 is mv. Um, I'm still stuck. But wait, hold up. I don't know mv here. I don't know mv here. But I can substitute it inside. We don't want the V, right? So we get rid of the V. So 0 0.37 over M. And then I take this and I plug it inside here. I think we can solve that. Okay, let's, let's add the V here. So 0 0.37 over M squared. Aha, now we can find the mass. So let's simplify a bit. 0 0.3. Half, uh, this will be m. Oh, wait, let me open the bracket 0 0.37 square over m. Okay, then this way you get your m 0 0.2282 or rounded to 2sf 0 0.23. 2sf is okay, 3sf is safe. So here, one mark is for final pmv. Wow, one mark also. Very good. This is for block X. And one mark for your kinetic energy. So you don't know how to start. It's okay. Just write the equation. Maybe they'll be generous and give you a mark. Okay. All right. Next. Determine the magnitude of momentum of block Y after the collision. So I repeat the diagram here for convenience. Uh, you may be very tempted to do this. M1 what U1 plus M2 U2 equals to very long. M2 V2. But we don't need this because they already gave us the momentum. This is already P. So you can just say momentum of X plus momentum of Y. No, we don't care. We don't cancel this out. Let's just write out what we have. But you need to be careful. Direction matters. You gotta choose a direction. So I think in this case, I will choose to the right as positive. How about that? Okay, so anything to the right is positive. To the left is negative. You choose what you want. So this is positive, negative, negative, and probably negative, but let's just call this PY. Don't know what that is. Okay, 0 0.37 plus negative 0 0.65 that's our initial momentum that should be same as after collision so negative 0 0.13 plus py that's what we want to find momentum of block y after and your py you would get a negative value in this system about 0 0.15 don't panic if you see a negative this negative just tells me is to the left because I define it to be so, so it's to the left. Okay? So we can just write 0 0.15. It's okay if you don't have the negative. Depends on your system. Okay? One mark here. Okay. So block Y has a change in momentum. Very good. Block X exerts an average force on block Y. So just now we have a change in momentum, right? Oh, that's explanation. Block Y will experience a change in momentum due to a force on it. And who gives the force? Block X. Exerts a force. So you can think of it this way. This is block Y. Block X came and pushed a force to it. This force due 
to x. And this one will have a change in momentum of y. So if you use the force is related to the change in momentum. This is Newton's second law, by the way. Who's the force? A uh, force due to x. And the change in momentum of y. Okay, let's write out our values. So 7.7 .7 Newton. Hey, let's stick with the same system just now. To the right is positive, right? Yeah, to the right positive, to the left negative. So force is still positive. Change in momentum. Oh, we got to go back to here. Okay, this PY is going to be negative 0 0.15. So you want to compare before and after. So that's the two highlighted numbers right there. So negative 0 0.15 and negative 0 0.65. So negative 0 0.15 minus initial momentum negative 0 0.65 and time okay so time here will be 0 0.064935 why not right and you can round it up to 0 0.065 keep 2sf at least Okay, so this is Newton's second law. Good revision of this. If you sum in the correct values, that's a mark to show you're working. And one more mark for final answer. Correct, SF, and all. All right, that is all for this question for momentum.